In a certain sense, you could say that Aikido, Aikido is really, in fact, that definition of Aikido, the way of oneness with the uh, chi and the love which is sustaining the entire universe, that is also a definition of yoga. <laughs> right? That's a translation of yoga. So you could say that Aikido is yoga, is a yoga, based on that definition. However, it's not just the yoga, it's Bu. <laughs> right. And this is, this is the fine point. This is why we're doing it in this way, instead of yoga techniques or meditation techniques. It's Bu. It has to do with... Well, it has to do with power. But well, we have a question for human beings, which is how to fully manifest, or allow to fully manifest what we are as human beings, including at a level of power or energy, in a way that does not impinge on others, a way that does not make others lose. That's a good beginning definition of the study of who. And of course, Atiyo shows and so I could all models this. Because, for instance, uh, although it looks like one person has defeated the other, you don't feel defeated. Because something else is happening. Right? Both are participating in one thing, which is always one, and which we can say is the movement of the universe. So, in a certain sense, this is the greatest step <laughs> that man has taken ever since he got up his started standing up, <laughs> right, to understand what Aikido models. And if we don't understand it as human beings, we will not be here much longer, as you probably know. So, Now that brings up again another question or another key thing about Aikido. Right? Which is Aikido is not done for yourself. Right? That's tough because we live in consuming society, right? Of course, you know, my car, I want to drive a Ford. Right? I prefer the same. Right? So Aikido models something where these illusor, illusionary, illusory, 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 illusory uh, relationships are revealed as illusory. <coughs> so, for instance, like, here we when we, when we enter, like, we're not just entering, right, but like technically, we're entering to do this, to, to do this, right, right, to do this. But actually, we are also entering into the person's mind. We're also entering into the space <laughs> from which the mind manifests. So, right, we can do that, right, right. So again, this is just to open up a little to the technique what Osun Sensei was talking about when he said, in Aikido, you must understand true nothingness. And you must understand the connection with true nothingness and nothingness. And um, this also brings up, again, another aspect of Atika, which is the aspect of which o -sensei also said. He said, if, if you don't understand true nothingness, you will never understand Atika. I mean, so let's... Uh, the other thing he said was that Aikido is <coughs> one half bun and one half bu equal. 
Bun means, let's call it thought. Although, I could go in terms of practice, you want to be in say no thought, no mind. There's thought, which with deep learning, it's not bad. And he said it's 50%. You're not practicing Aikido to play a lot on the maps, no matter how good you feel. It's 